Hey everybody, so this is not like a formal release or anything. I don't know if I even ever am going to do a formal release, but a lot of this is usable and useful in its current state, so I wanted to show off some of the practice tools that I've made now for Ocarina of Time 3D with help from others. Um, I'm not going to go over how to get this set up, because if you already have Luma 3DS installed, um, it's really easy to get this set up. Uh, one thing I do have to say is, at the moment, I only have a version of this for the USA version of the game. Um, at some point, I will port it to JP especially, and also maybe eventually Europe. Um, at some point. That's kind of low priority for me at the moment. Anyway, let me just get into it. Uh, so I have the bottom screen blown up large here, because that's where most of the action takes place. Uh, let me just go ahead and get into a save file here. So... With this uh, patch, you can open up an on-screen menu, and the default uh, button combination to open it up at the moment is L plus R plus select. And this nice little menu will come up. Um, and there are a variety of options here. First of all is warps. Um, in warps, you can then go into places and choose from many different places you want to go to. So, for example, maybe we want to go to um, Kakariko Village from Impa's house main entrance. That sounds good. And you will warp there. Um, another thing to notice is uh, you can choose what age you will be when you spawn. There's also this cutscene number on load option. Um, which you can choose a cutscene number. This is glitchy at the moment, and it is very likely that the game will crash if you choose anything except none. Um, which is why I've labeled it with this to-do label. Anything labeled with to-do in these menus uh, will either not do anything, or uh, has unpredictable effects, likely a crash. So I suggest you don't use anything that says to-do on it yet. Um, but as you can see, I can choose to be adult, and warp to Deku Tree, and it will just work. Um, there's also the Manually Enter Entrance Index option, which works similarly, except, of course, you can choose the entrance index you'd like to go to. So, Entrance Index 4 should take me to Dodongo's Cavern. Okay, there's also the clear cutscene pointer option here. Um, this is not very useful, as far as I'm aware, in this in the 3DS version of the game. Uh, it's not likely anybody will ever really use this. Um, but it, it points the cutscene pointer to a basically an empty cutscene. Uh, so next we have the scene option. This is completely not implemented yet. Cheats gives a variety of just quick and easy cheats to use, some of which are not implemented yet. Um, but it also includes things like refill health, magic, keys, rupees. If you choose items, um, you can choose which item to refill. If you choose keys, you can choose which dungeon you would like to get a key in. Okay, next is inventory. This is very, probably one of the most useful sections. Um, if you choose items, you can toggle which items you have. So maybe if instead of Fairy Ocarina, I want the Ocarina of Time, I can choose Ocarina of Time. And maybe I also want Long Shot. As you can see, I now have the Ocarina of Time, and I have the Long Shot. Um, under right side gear, you can toggle things like swords, um, shields, 
and capacity upgrades, tunics, wallets, etc. Um, under left side gear, we have medallions, stones, pieces of heart, you can choose how many you have. Gold sculpture tokens, you can choose how many you have. Um, one thing which will be added very soon is toggling which ocarina songs you have. The only reason it's not here yet is because I forgot. Um, and under amounts, uh, this menu is currently a bit ugly, but it's functional. You can choose uh, how many of things you want. So maybe if I want 10 Deku Nuts, I can set that. And as you can see, I now have 10 Deku Nuts. Uh, next we have equips. Um, you can this just lets you edit which item is on your buttons basically. So maybe I want Kokiri sword instead of Master Sword. And visually it's hard to tell, but this is the Kokiri sword that I'm using. Uh, next we have watches. So watches um, lets you set memory watches basically. Uh, so you can name them. So maybe uh, I would like to watch uh, Link's X coordinate. I'll name this Link.x for fun. Um, I'll watch this as a hexadecimal 32-bit integer at the moment. And I'll type in the address for it, which I happen to just, because um, I've been messing with this recently, I happen to just know this address off the top of my head at the moment. Um, and now you can see it appears on my bottom screen. Uh, Link's X coordinate. Um, you can set many more watches, and if you want, you can choose whether or not your watch is drawn on screen. So if I set it to off, you can see it's not there anymore. Okay. Under the debug section, right now we have just uh, actors. So choosing this will display a list of all the actors which are currently allocated. Um, you can filter by what type of actor you'd like to see. Uh, so for example, uh, there's just one player loaded right now, that's Link. A um, bunch of enemies. These first two are the fire keys. We've got three Beemoses. This 195, I, I'm guessing it's... I don't know. I don't want to guess and be wrong. But, uh, yeah. If you want to see more details about an actor, you can choose it. Um, and you get a little more details. Uh, right now, printing floats has not been implemented yet. So for position and velocity and distance from link, right now there's just these... Uh, not properly rendered floats, but at some point that will be implemented and you'll be able to see those real numbers. Um, this press start to bring actor to link has not been implemented yet, that doesn't do anything. And the X to delete you can see on this screen also doesn't do anything yet, so just know that those will get there eventually, not yet. Uh, and finally commands um, this lets you change the uh, combos for a variety of commands. Um, so, for example, open menu right now, as I said way at the beginning of the video, is LR select. Uh, lowercase s means select, capital S means start. But maybe I want um, my open menu combo to just be the start button. So I can choose it, set the start button, and wait for the timer to run out. And now, uh, just believe me that. I'm just pressing the start button, and it's causing the menu to open. There's a bunch more of these. Levitate um, is like moon jump. This one called fall doesn't work yet. Run fast is set to Y. That makes you run fast. <laughs> oh, I forgot to change the combo. Um, reset will soft reset the game. Uh, reload scene will reload the scene you're in. Void out, again, no void out. Toggle age will change Link's age upon the next load. Store position and load position. Um, you can store position and then go somewhere else. 
and click load position and you will return to where you were before to wherever you stored it um, pause unpause and frame advance are what you would expect uh, you can pause the game unpause the game and while it's paused you can frame advance um, we also have toggle hitbox view I'll set that to L I guess for now toggle watches you can set that to R so you can see what they do um, the hitbox one does this it shows you the colliders for stuff Um, toggle watches, uh, toggles whether the watches can be seen on the bottom screen. So you can see that one from earlier is being toggled on and off when I hit the R button. Um, finally, there's this, for each watch there's this thing called relaxed, which can be swapped to strict. So relaxed means that you just need to hit that combination of buttons simultaneously and the command will execute. Um, strict means that you need to hit the buttons in the order they're shown and it can be the only thing that you're pressing or sorry it must be the only thing that you're pressing um, so if I set like if I for example I leave open menu to just be the start button but I set it to strict right now I'm pressing the start button as you can see while I'm running around but it's not opening but if I stop touching the circle pad and then I press start, the menu will open. Um, so I hope that all made sense. I think there's enough here for people to start using. Um, I would love suggestions. I would love bug reports. I would love requests, etc. Feedback. Um, this is still a very active work in progress. More features planned. The features that do exist I want to make better. Um, thanks to the people who have already helped with this. They're the best. And uh, yeah, see ya.